guys welcome back to my channel um today is another military monday segment for anybody new every monday i post a video related to the military and giving advice and tips and whatnot on things people may or may not want to know um if you're interested in that kind of stuff you can subscribe and you can hit the notification hit the notification bell so you'll be able to see my videos whenever I do post something military related. I post them every Monday. Um, anyways though, if you're, new, if you're not new to this channel, thanks for watching also. Love you guys. Um, I'm really surprised I actually increased my following by a little. I know I don't have a lot of followers, but all support is loved, so thank you. So today's topic is going to be on, is Fort Polk as bad as everybody says it is? So, I was expecting to come to Fort Polk and hate it, okay? Um, I was just told all this bad stuff, there was nothing to do, there's only one Walmart, you gotta go hours out just to do anything, you gotta go to the next county over just to buy liquor, there's nothing to do, there, there's nothing to do, it's in the middle of nowhere, you're gonna be in the field all the time, okay? These are the messages that I got when... Um, I was told, you know, that's what to expect in Fort Polk. So, um, none of that was true. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, none of that was true for me. So, first of all, one of the myths that you, you I heard about uh, Fort Polk is there's only one mall, Walmart. There's nothing else to do. First of all, yes, Leesville is about 15 minutes away from the front gate. 15 yeah it's like 15 minutes away from the front gate and that's where the walmart is but maybe like 30 minutes away is another walmart in derider so i don't know why people keep saying there's only one walmart like yeah there's one walmart outside the gate you expect to see three walmarts in the same place like there's there's one 15 minutes away and there's one 30 minutes away that's not that bad like that's actually very normal for like a little place to have like a Walmart in each county and both counties are right beside each other so I don't I don't understand why people were freaking out about that but there is more than one Walmart in Leesville and I'm tired of people saying there's nothing else out, outside the gate first of all they have vape shops outside the gate they have escape rooms they have a skating rink they have an arcade they have laser tag they've got Caribbean food which I go to almost like once or twice a week they've got Mexican restaurants that are like really good Mexican food. They've got seafood places. There are multiple places to eat out here. There are multiple places to buy things. Okay, no, there's not like a, sh a crap load of places, but there's a Walmart. There's a Dollar General. There's a Dollar Store. There's a fashion. It's fashion. There's a multiple beauty supply store for women who want to get like weave and wigs and whatever. They got those here too. And then, and that's just in Leesville, the city right outside the gate. But 30 minutes away from that is another mini city with even more stuff. And then an hour away from that is an actual mall and a Forever 21 and Ulta and Sephora and, and Ross and Target and Hobby Lobby. Point being, everything is here conveniently if you ask me. I don't understand the whole myth of there's nothing here. Like, are you guys just not going anywhere? Like, mind you, I've only been here for a month. And I don't see what other people are saying. You know what I mean? So first of all, for the myth of there's nothing to do here, there's lots to do. Two hours away is Houston. Um, an hour and a half away is Lake Charles. An hour and a half away the other way is Alexandria. Uh, there's New Orleans. I think that's about three and a half, four hours away. Four and a half hours. I don't know. There's Baton Rouge. There's... There's just multiple different places to go. And in New Orleans, there's always festivals going on. Like right now, actually, uh, for the month of February to the beginning of March, it's going to be complete Mardi Gras. So every weekend in New Orleans is lit right now because they're partying for um, Mardi Gras, which I'm probably going to end up going to. Houston is right down the street. There's always stuff going on in Houston. Um, no, there's a, I, I don't understand. Like, I promise you now in the Army, you're never going to go to a base. And, like, that base is going to be, like, popping like there's no bases in los angeles there's no bases in orlando there's no bases in miami there's no bases in new york new york there's no bases in at, like you know what i mean like the places people act like they they you're not gonna be in hollywood on a post no they're gonna put you in a place where there's training facilities and stuff going on so you're not gonna ever get that experience i, I feel like people like are ex trying to get like 
you're always going to be in a little town. You know what I mean? That's just how the army works because unless you're like a recruiter and you're like recruiting in that in, in a city that's nice, all army bases usually are in like little towns that are kind of country or kind of just like tiny, you know, because they're army bases. Of course, they don't want them in the main cities and stuff. That would be like stupid for training reasons. So um, I don't think Fort Polk's bad. Uh, I haven't gotten to the the weather yet i heard it gets really hot here i'm waiting to find out if i'm about to be pouring sweat or not but uh the weather hasn't been bad another thing that i hear a lot about well no actually i don't hear this i hear so much negative about Fort Polk. they don't even say the good stuff like the barracks here are really nice like if you saw my other video which i'll have a link below my barracks room is like a one bedroom apartment and the job I do, they don't have a warehouse in my unit. I know there's a, uh, another unit that has 92 Alphas too, and they actually work in the warehouse, but I work as a PLL clerk and we get our parts from civilians. So um, I think Geronimo is the warehouse. I don't know. I'm not a part of the warehouse at all though. I just work PLL and I already was told, I don't go to the field. I don't do 24 hour duty. Other people do, but <laughs> I got blessed. I, I don't, mm, don't do that that's not me sis so uh don't knock this place till you try it that's all i have to say like honestly um i feel like this is one of the better bases i've only been to two other places obviously i've been to korea and i've been to fort hood but this right now has topped all three for me based on the fact that i just like that it's a smaller atmosphere so there's less drama um, there aren't very many clubs and stuff outside the base. I like prefer to go out. Like I like that I have to go to Houston to party. I gotta go to Lake Charles or New Orleans to party. I prefer that because I don't want to knock into people I know. You know what I mean? Like all you're gonna do is knock into people you know in other places. On top of that, I like that um, there's only one Walmart. I don't need four or five Walmarts. You wanna know why I don't need? I'm happy there's two Walmarts 10, 30 minutes away. I'm, you wanna know why? Because if I have multiple Walmarts and Targets all over the place, I will be broke. I'm tired of being broke. So I prefer that there's not so many options so then my little butt can stay at home, you know, and save some coins for once. And I love my bedroom. Um, I actually need to do a, a video on that. It'll probably be my next video I do of what my room looks like because all my household goods did come and like my setup is so nice and everything looks so good and I just love it so much. So I like my space and I like the post. I like how easy it is to get to where I need to go and to get back home and to enjoy my home. So yeah, um, don't knock Fort Polk till you try it. If you end up getting on uh, orders to Fort Polk, I'm telling you now, it's not as bad as you think. Like, I'm a city girl and I'm out here in the country and I'm not that bothered at all. Like, and I like where, work-wise, I, I can't tell you work-wise, okay? Work-wise, I can't tell you because people ruin everything. That's just how it goes. I hate it for Polk. No, not Fort Polk. I hate it for Hood because the people. I hate it Korea because the people. My unit. I hate it, you know, I hated it because the atmosphere, not because the actual place. I loved Korea, the place. Did not like the unit. I loved for hood the place did not like the unit you know what i mean so you it's it's really like the people who can ruin a place for you but i wouldn't knock this place till you try it they have great gyms they've got they always have festivals and boss trips going on like this place is not that bad so if you have any questions about fort polk just comment down below i will answer all your questions because i think this place isn't bad like i think the worst scenario is that there's not as many like it's not as much diversity for people. There's more males here than females, and there's less uh, urban people here than um, than I would prefer. Like I'm a city girl. There's not very. There's a lot of country people out here. And I think that might be like the only thing that kind of can suck for like someone who, who might be like me, who's cityish, because like all they really want to uh, guys, all they want to do is drink beer and fish and stuff like that and i'm not into that but i enjoy my own space so that doesn't even bother me like i don't mind being by myself but i think that could be the the, the the worst part is being lonely sometimes based on the fact that there's not a lot of people who are like me out here at least i haven't met people like me out here so yeah thanks for watching guys this video was a little long but i went off because i'm tired of hearing oh Fort Polk's horrible it's only horrible if you're going to jrtc okay it's only horrible when you're here for training because you're here for training duh of course it's gonna suck it's supposed to suck your training but um yeah thanks for watching guys peace and hair grease